Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome back to The Breastfeeding Den. Today, we are going to talk about pump flanges and how to make sure you have the right size. Despite what some pump manufacturers want to make you believe, pump flanges are not a one-size-fits-all item. Your pump typically comes with a standard 24 or 25 millimeter flange. And what that means is that the width of the tunnel, the diameter of the tunnel here, is 24 or 25 millimeters. Sometimes people need a bigger flange and sometimes people need a smaller flange. You'll find a variety of flanges in sizes ranging from 13 to 36 generally on the market these days, um, as well as some other different shapes. So your 24 is what's gonna come with your pump. Um, your 27 is a bigger size. And then we even have down to like the 15 millimeter flange here. So when you're looking at the flange, you're going to want to hook it up to your pump and get your breast. And when you turn your pump on, you want to pay attention to how your nipple moves within that tunnel. So you'll see that this is not only pulling the nipple, but the entire areola into the flange. That's too big. It's gonna cause swelling of the nipple and discomfort for the person who's pumping. So, if we go down a size, you will see that it's going to pull less of the areola into the pump flange, but there's still some areola coming in there. Again, this nipple is going to swell to fit how wide that pump diameter flange really is. So we're gonna size this one down one more time. This is now the 15 millimeter flange. This flange is going to be a much better fit for this breast. What you're looking for is for the breast to stay firmly against the downslope of the breast shields, for the nipple to move freely within the tunnel, and for there not to be a whole lot of swelling when you're done pumping. You don't wanna see the areola coming in. You want the nipple to kind of fill that space without rubbing on the sides. You'll see this one's not staying perfectly flat against there, and that's really because it's not the best shape. If we turn it around, we'll see that in a rounder spot, you've got a little better contact there. So your breast is not going to pop back like that if it is the right size flange for you. Now there's not always the right size flange in a standard flange shape because some people just need a different shape. So you might find that a flange more shaped like this one with that downward slope fits your body better. Those you can stick right into your connector piece and hook it up to your tubing. And then it pulls the breast a lot differently and you won't get that rubbing along the side you're gonna get more breast tissue kind of filling up the deeper part of the flange because there's not a, a kink here for the breast shield goes into the tunnel. So when you're looking at flange size, you're looking at the nipple size, not the breast size. You're looking to see that your nipple is going into the tunnel and not the entire areola. You don't wanna see much areola at all. You don't want to see swelling through the nipple, and you also don't want to see rubbing along the sides. It might take some time to try some sizes on and see what fits. The best size for you is going to be comfortable, and you're going to get the most amount of milk with that. We hope that's helpful. If you have other questions, please let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and find us on Facebook and Instagram at The BF Den.